Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of a tutorial how to use any merge docs add-on. Uh, in this uh, episode we're gonna look at how uh, to use or how to create for a sheet and how to switch between uh, sheets in a, in, a, in a spreadsheet. So I already created uh, uh, some sample, uh, sample data so as always you have to follow a few rules to make it work. Uh, the first row there always have to be header columns so give some nice names to the columns you uh, you would like to use and then follow uh, data rows. Uh, you can move the columns around and there can be empty uh, space in between it's all fine. Okay, that's about the data sheet and uh, now I'm going to explain you very important concept in AnyMerge and that's the concept of source sheet. What does it mean? Uh, the add-on is always pointing to uh, one sheet in the spreadsheet. In this case it's the book sheet and there is very simple uh, rule of thumb that source sheet here, the books, and the active sheet here, the books, must match in order to be able to configure the sheet. So, for example, now I would like to select a folder where documents will be saved and the add-on will let me do so because the, uh, the active sheet and the source sheet match. Uh, let me add a new sheet and now let me do the let me try to select the folder and now I will get an error. The error says like uh, there is a sheet mismatch that basically the source sheet books and the active sheet sheet 15 do not match and the add-on will not perform that action. Why is this happening? It's because basically the add-on is forcing you to be in the sheet which is selected as the source sheet. So basically you know what are you doing and while you are here you can configure it, you can select the template, you can provide the mapping and so on and so on and finally you can generate and process the data. If I wanted to process data in the sheet 15, I have to go first to the sheet configuration and switch to active sheet. And what's going on now? Actually, the add-on is trying to restore configuration for the sheet 15. And as there is none, it, it reverts to defaults. But now uh, the add-on has switched to sheet 15. I am now in sheet sheet 15 and I can for example select the folder and the add-on will let me do so. Yeah, so this is very important concept when you're gonna be working with uh, with sheets in uh, in this add-on. Why? Because you might have many, uh, you might have 10, 15 sheets in one single spreadsheet. And the, in this way the add-on allows you to configure uh, each sheet differently. You might have a different output folder for sheet 15, different for books, different mapping for sheet 16, you, and you can be using a different template for C sheet 17. Yeah? Plus the add-on then can restore the configuration for each sheet. Yeah? So this is a very important concept we need to start with. So now I'll go back to the books. I switch to active sheet so the add-on goes back to the book sheet as we will be using this one uh, in the in the in the next uh, tutorial. Okay that's all for the beginning. In the next tutorial we're gonna, we're gonna look at how to create our first template and provide mappings between the template and the sheet columns behavior. Thank you for watching.